Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the long-awaited how I prepare for a new academic year. Most of us will probably start a new academic year within the next month or so and today I'm going to share my best tips for things you can do to be a bit more prepared before you start. The first thing I do in planning for a new academic year is to go through and organize last year's notes. I sort through them and try to find out which notes I can throw away which notes I may want to store, and which ones may be useful to have next year. I would recommend putting the notes you think you'll need in a binder. I have a separate binder for important notes from last year, so I just sort the notes by topic and keep them in the binder right next to my desk so that it's easy to find them if I need them. Another thing I recommend doing is to take some time to figure out which planning method you will want to use next year. There are so many different ways to plan, so be sure to find a method that suits your own needs and preferences. I prefer using a detailed planner with a daily schedule, so this year I will be using the Simplified Planner. It has both an hourly schedule and a to-do list for each day, so it is perfect if you're like me and prefer planning out your days in detail. Other options could be using a more minimalistic planner with weekly pages, a bullet journal if you'd like total freedom, or perhaps you want to consider planning digitally. Either way, take time to reflect on what has and hasn't worked for you previously before choosing your way of planning. Also, take time to get to know your planner once you've gotten it, and give yourself an idea of how you're going to use it. Next, I always write down checklists that need to be completed before the new academic year starts. This year, I've made two checklists, one for the stationery and supplies I need to get, and one for the tasks that I need to do. Just take some time and figure out everything you'll need, and write it down in a notebook or just on a piece of paper. Everything seems a lot more manageable once you've written it down in one place, and by making checklists, you can always keep track of your progress and you always know what needs to be done. This next tip only counts if you buy your textbooks and don't borrow them like I did in high school, but try to get your new textbooks as soon as possible. I find it so helpful if I've already familiarized myself with the textbooks before the new academic year starts, so I would recommend setting aside some time just to like get to know the structure and content of your textbooks. Another helpful thing is to get some cheap page markers and mark off where the different chapters start. I always do this and it just makes it so much easier to find the information that I'm looking for. Once I've gotten my textbooks and familiarized myself with them, another thing I like to do is to make a checklist for the different subchapters. This is my actual checklist for the year, which is why it's written partly in Norwegian, but I've basically written down all the topics we'll be covering, as well as three columns, one for notes, one for practice questions and one for flashcards and then I can mark the boxes off after I've completed one of these three things. I find that this is so useful to have throughout the year to track my progress in each class and since it takes a bit of time to set up, it's good to already have finished making it before the new academic year starts. I also find that by just setting it up, I get a really good overview of what I'll be learning this upcoming year so there are definitely many benefits of setting up a textbook checklist. Next is a tip that can be very helpful at the start of a new semester, and that is to set up a temporary study schedule for each of your classes. For example, let's say that you'll be taking a physics class that has lectures on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as a discussion group on Fridays. Then, it will be wise to allocate some time on Tuesday and Thursday to review lecture notes, powerpoints and such, but also to take some time on Mondays and Wednesdays to quickly read through the syllabus for the upcoming lectures. Then, Friday could be used to review the past week, and perhaps Saturday to do practice questions. Of course, you will want to set up a schedule based on the methods that you learn the best from, and your study schedule will obviously change as your semester starts properly and you fall into natural weekly routines. I just find it useful to make a temporary study schedule before I fully start, so that it's easier to know what to do before I get into the flow of things. 
My final tip is to set your goals for the new academic year. When setting goals, I deal with three types of goals. The first type is specific goals, which can be, for example, I want to raise my grade in one class from a C to a B. Then there are general goals, which could be, I want to be more confident when speaking up in discussions, or I want to get better at dealing with procrastination. And then finally, there is the long-term goal, which could be related to a career you want to pursue or whatever you want to complete in the long term. Setting goals is important, but it is also important to define your how and your why. Take time to write down concrete steps to how you can achieve your goals, but also write down why you want to achieve them to give yourself purpose. Your goals are what keeps you going, so make sure to give yourself reasons for why you want to do your best this upcoming year. So that is it for how I prepare for a new academic year. I hope some of these methods can help you, and if you have any other tips, then please do feel free to share them with everyone in the comments. If you're starting a new year of school or university soon, I wish you the best of luck, and I will see you soon with another video.